Hey guys, Shane Klein coming to you for Gym Review for you. Today, we're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're at a gym called Iron Sport Gym. I have no idea what this gym's all about. I'm not sure if you do, but hey, follow me. Let's check this place out together. Today, I'm with Steve, and Steve, you're the owner of Iron Sport Gym. That's right, for 27 years now. 20, wow, yeah. wow. Are you open to daily pass users? Daily, we live and die by daily pass users. Okay. $15. We're a 24-7 gym. We're not staffed 24-7, but there is a way on our website you can buy a pass to come in 24-7. Okay. $15. So if someone's in there visiting, they can get mm -hmm. on your website and it gives them There's a you... banner right on the front page, shoots you right to the store, you pay for it, gives you a code to the door, you come to the door, and you punch it in, you're in. Awesome. People use it all the time. Nice. Now, how big a facility are you here? The entire building is 7,200 square feet. Okay. The big main room here is about half that. It's about 3,600 or so. Okay. Now, a box facility, do you have free weights? Lots of free weights. Okay, do you have dumbbells? Dumbbells up to 160. 160, wow. Mm -hmm. Cardio equipment? No. We have a few little pieces out there guys use just for warming up, but our gym's a powerlifting grind, so I tell, they don't do a whole lot of cardio, so. Okay. One by one, I've been getting rid of, like, we used to have a whole cardio room, but we got rid of it all. And make more room make for Make more weight. room for weights, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, um, what about machines? You guys have machines here? We do have some hammer strength machines and I got selectorized machines out front that we'll go by and show, okay. show you. Now, do you consider Iron Sport Gym, do you get, like cater to one specific type of lifter? We're mainly set up for powerlifting now, but we do have many other like lifters. We have a couple bodybuilders. We got, you know, people from all walks of life. But as you can see by all the, the, the powerlifting equipment we have, we do, you know, our main thrust is power, competitive powerlifters. Okay, awesome. Um, what about like, you know, do you have drinking fountains, locker rooms? Yeah, we have full room? men's women's locker rooms, there's showers, there's a water fountain. Uh, we have, we sell drinks out of a vending machine okay. so people can buy them, whether I'm here or not. You know. Okay, so in case they don't bring their own, they right. can still get them here. Yep. Nice. Uh, what about supplements? No, nah, we don't sell anything over the counter or supplements okay. or anything, because I'm not here to sell it usually. You know? We're not staffed all around the clock, so there'll be nobody there to actually. Okay. Do you do Everybody personal training classes, anything like that? I have no classes? classes. I got no employees. I have no trainers. So it's just you. One Everybody, man show. I'm just one man show. I do everything myself, including what little cleaning gets done. Little cleaning. Which I like is very little. <laughs> little the cleaning. Gym. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. These guys trash it every night anyway. It doesn't matter if I clean it or not. Awesome. Well, hey, Steve, I'd love to do a tour of your gym. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Let's do, Let's do it. it. So here it is, huh, Steve? This is it, man. You're at the famous Iron Sport Gym. Uh, just take you on a little tour real quick. We do have a few pieces of cardio stuff here. It's nice okay. stuff, but it's just, guys use the warm up on. No one's really a big cardio queen here. We're a lifting yeah. gym, so I don't even encourage that kind of bullshit, you know? <laughs> and I have a few selectorized pieces here. You have your leg extension, your fly machine, your little curl machine. It's all the crap us old guys use that we can't lift anymore. Um, our little vending machine, we got bangs and other energy drinks, some protein drinks when I can get them now, which you can't even get them. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to find. Uh, this is what so, a lot of things we're pretty famous for. Our 17 or our, our 1500 pound train wheel deadlift. Tra we have a train challenge. wheel? These are train wheels, they're old boxcar what? wheels. They're like 125 years old. If any two man teams could deadlift this together, they get on the plaque that's over here on the wall. A lot of strong guys have missed that, let me tell you right now. So I just want to come back to this room. So these are actual train wheels. They're from an old boxcar, and they were they, they bolted these little things into them. Dr. Ken Lister did that so we could fit a bar on them. Wow. And he gave them to me, geez, over 20 years ago. That's good. That's As a gift. Cool. Never... So if two men can deadlift that, then they get a plaque on the wall, he said. They get on the plaque, yep. That's awesome. We, have, we even had three girls on there that did it. Really? Yeah, our three of the strongest girls in here did it. This is our main weight room here. Oh, wow. so it's nice and here. big and open. Yep. We always provide, you know, plenty of chains and bands, little extra stuff, little things like trap bars and all that crap. This used to be our stone room, as you can tell by the holes through the wall. Guys would lift this, the stones up and just chuck them through the wall. So see, so said we got rid of them though. We don't have I do want to ask some. If someone does a drop in pass, a day pass, is anything in your gym anything they can't use? Or is everything open? To Other than my office, they can't get anything okay. anywhere they want. Yeah. So bands, chains, yeah, all, all that. Stuff's that's always here, yeah. And it's I, as it is. When I'm not here, this place is as it is now. Okay. Right. And I see you have specialty bars, all the specialty bars yeah, are open. We'll yep. Okay. Perfect. So we got three power racks. This is one of our original, original ones. We first opened our small gym. And then since then, we've moved on to like much nicer Elite FTS collegiate racks, which have all the, the bands and the band holders and all that stuff. We have four competition combo racks. Three of them are Texas. One is Elite FTS. Um, of course, we have all the specialty bars that are in the corner here and are here uh, between axles, uh, Texas squat bars, 
big Mastodon bars, um, some of the other Elite uh, football bars and things like that. This is our new Elite FTS uh, combo racket. It actually is a lot newer than it looks because it's filled with dust because I never clean. <laughs> well, so. I see a mono lift. And we're talking about dust. The meat doesn't look like dust. It looks more like it's baby chalk. powder chalk. It's yeah. chalk. <laughs> okay. So do we got chalk. <laughs> Powerlifting gem. Yeah. It screams it 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, but also, like you said, we have stone. So, I mean, you have other equipment. Yeah, I have like people. a local woman that comes here who's eight months pregnant and here working out a little yeah, while okay. ago. You know? So, she, I mean, even if you're not a power it. lifter, this is still going to be an right. awesome I mean, A lot of people that aren't power lifters that come here, come here because it's, a, it's just a no nonsense, no bullshit. Mm. They can come in and train. They don't have to deal with a lot of like kids and old ladies and everything. I keep the price a little high, $65 a month, which by, you know, the change gym standards is a little, sounds expensive, but you're paying for a more exclusive exclusivity. You don't have a lot of like, you know, like I said, 13, 15 year old kids running around with their shirts off, posing yeah. and all that crap. Yeah. And old ladies like walking around not knowing what they're doing. You know, they come here and, and people have room to lift. I keep it wide open. I don't Maybe. jam a lot of extra equipment in. Yeah. Believe me, I'd like to have more equipment, but I don't want to make it any more crowded than it is now. Because I want the lifters, that's why I keep this wide area here. When these guys are using these things, that bench is here, there's 10 gym bags there, that yeah. bench is there, there's 10, you yeah. know, I gotta have it opened up. If there's yeah. machines in there, it would be a shit show, and I don't and want that. that is what's really nice about this, is right. how open it is. I mean, it's a big open room. I also have Olympic bars, like these are all, you know, for the most part, these are all Olymp uh, Alico bars, and uh, some of the women's bars are Rogue bars, but like, okay. some of these bars are like $1,000. Yeah, yep. and bars I have all the, I have three Olympic platforms with dedicated set of bumpers on each one. Again, we have all the kilo power to all the metal kilo power to uh -huh. from various sources. Some are Rome, some are Ivanko, some are other places. The platforms have their own little squat racks too. I got a nice Nebula Smith machine that goes up high enough where you can actually stand in it and actually press inside of here instead of having it this high, which is pretty much useless. Our, our hodgepodge of dumbbells, because as these old Nebula ones keep breaking, I have to replace them with other things because I can't get the Nebula ones anymore because they went out of business. Um, you know, it's just our double area. We got some open benches, some we got a utility bench, benches. utility benches and things like that. Uh, Matt Wenning belt squat. Oh yeah, I just got this. Uh, the old Louis Simmons reverse hyper. Yep. One of the early, early FTS pieces actually. That's one of his early. Pieces like Dave there. Tate was in here and he's like, "Why did you buy this?" I said, "Like right after you opened, I bought one of the first ones that he sold." He said, "Really." Because he said, we haven't had that design in like 30 years. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I bought it. Yeah. Another piece we lead FTS I really like. Glute hand raise. Um, these two machines are wildly popular. Nebula, leg press, Nebula, mm. hack squat. People love these things. They're big, they're heavy duty. They fit a lot of weight. Yeah. You don't see them in a lot of gyms anymore. Yeah. And the gyms that do have them, people offer to buy them from them. Like people offer to buy this from me all the time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, it's just like they love this machine, you know? Well, they're big, they're heavy duty. I mean, they're yeah, yeah, so they can hold a lot of weight. It actually holds so much weight. Like, you're starting to bend a little bit if you look. Um, I got a few hammer straight machines. I got a low row, high row, shrug, chest supported row. And I got three Elite FTS competition benches. And of oh. course, Every gym's got to have a cable rig. Oh yeah, because God cross. forbid people can't do cable flies. <laughs> yeah. And we got three, three deadlift platforms, all with dedicated deadlift bars with them and you know, bar lifters and all that. So, I have to say, I love the way you have that set up. That way, in case you have multiple you know, strong, stronger guys, weaker guys, they can still train together, mm -hmm. be together. I think pretty much. I mean, the whole the whole gym's covered in three quarter inch rubber. Uh -huh. You can really deadlift anywhere. I just had the platforms because we had guys in here like smashing 800 pounds over the floor. Uh, but if some of the, you know, the people that only did a 275 pounds, they could did a, you know, anywhere in the room if they yeah. want. You know, if someone's in the Philly area or, you know, even locals, you're looking to switch your membership over to, what sets Iron Sport Gym apart from every other gym in this area? I mean, there's no other gyms exactly like this in this area in that it's a commercial facility that has the, enough amenities, but also caters to lifters. You know, it's either, yes. either the lifters are in like little garages by themselves, like they have a little yeah. private facility, or there's a chain gym, you know, but there's really nothing in between. And we're like that in between. You know, we offer, you know, the guys, the, the expertise of the guys that train here, mm. as I think what sets us apart too, where people come here from other gyms that say, I was scared to come here for so many years, and now that I'm here, I can't believe I didn't come early. Yes. early. These, these guys are so great, you know, there's so much just by watching these guys or by talking to them. It's not even necessarily me, it's the other lifters, you know, yeah. the guys that have a little bit of experience under their belt. And um, 
We even have a training group here, and these guys called SIN, Strength in Numbers, there's a banner over there. And they, they program for a lot of the younger lifters, and they do really oh, well, okay. you know, they're, they're really good at it. There's two guys, Liam and Nick, and uh, I'm really happy with what they're doing. So I just have to do their thing. It's separate from us, you know, they just do their own thing. That's but, awesome. you know, some of the lifters come in and they're looking for help. I'm like, you know, there's Liam and Nick, talk to these guys, you know, they can help you out. Well, I'll tell you what, man, this is a phenomenal, I mean, we keep saying powerlifting, but I mean, just for your everyday lifter, mm -hmm. this here, this gym here has everything you're gonna need. Hey, we just finished our tour of Iron Sport Gym. Steve, I'll tell you, I mean, that guy makes me look small. He knows what he's doing here, putting a gym together. He's got everything that you're gonna want. You know, we keep talking about powerlifting, powerlifting. This gym is so much more than a powerlifting gym. They have all the specialty bars, you know, for Olympic lifters or this or that, strongman. Him, he himself used to be a Highlander game. Guys, even if you're an everyday lifter and you're looking for a gym that you just wanna get bigger and stronger at, Iron Sport Gym is probably gonna be the place for you. Don't forget to check us out on TikTok and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're always the first one to be notified every time a new gym is uploaded. Till next time, guys.